Puma GTBS to 1978 to 83. In the 1978 auto show, was presented the new model of Puma GTB, now called GTB S2, Series 2, a car that had cleaner lines with lower front, using the same engine Chevrolet 6 cylinder inline 4.100cc, the renowned 250S, and, in the security issue, a new self rollable belts, retractable, leather seats, air conditioning and electric windows and a larger internal space for its occupants, but the rear bank remained the same, small being used only for short journeys. The GTB S2 was one of the sensations of that auto show. The Puma GTB S2 used light alloy wheels produced in tantalum alloy of 7 inches using BF Goodrich tires radial T, a 225-60 R14 manufactured in Brazil. In some books came to be bandied about other models in the GTB S2 line between them was GTB S3 which would use the Chevrolet engine, 4 cylinders 2.500cc using alcohol as fuel and also GTB S4 using the Chevrolet engine, 6 cylinders 4.100cc turbocharged 250S, but there is no news if the two models came to be actually produced, but both models. GTB S3 and GTB S4 were already seen. Puma GTB S2 had its production halted in late 1984, when they were manufactured 56 GTB S2 Pumas. It is estimated that 888 Puma GTB S2 were produced in five years of production. In March 1986, the Puma vehicles and engines moved to Curitiba in Paraná in the hands of the entrepreneur Dabal Rubens Malyuth, who founded the Rock Area S, A, S slash A means incorporated, which was manufacturing the GTB slash S2 under license from Puma vehicles and engines, paying 0.5% royalty on each car produced. At the first batch of Puma GTB slash S2 produced in Piranha, 22 cars were produced with a forecast of 68 cars by the end of 1986. This new GTB S2 was released with the Asa logo, with the same devoted style, but with some cosmetic changes such as the use of the Alfa Romeo 2300 knobs and Ford Del Rey mirrors. Its performance was not superior to that of the sports cars of the time such the Volkswagen Gaul GT 1.8 and Chevrolet Monza S, R, both in acceleration and in top speed. For this reason a owner of a GTB had to swallow one of the aforementioned sports requesting passage on the roads, and GTB with its powerful six-cylinder could not answer in time, the new GTB had few differences when compared to the model of 1984, showed a certain downgrade. The novelty was the differential distinct from that used by Puma in the past, it was lengthened from 3,07,1 to 2,73 to 1 as Opala in the time. Suspensions remained the same only changing the calibration of springs and pressurized shock absorbers. It's unknown how many models were manufactured between 1986 and 1987, nor the car that's in the 86 edition of the magazine Quattro Rotas as an attempt to relaunch the model.